Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines, the one hour per day build. I'm your host and insane mayor, Zerberus. And yeah, let's just crack open a beer quick and get right to it. Cheers. So, yesterday we once again repositioned a few people. We do still have some residential back in here that's probably going to move in the long term. And we want to slowly push our industry out over in this direction. Uh, exactly, where do our tiles end? Our tiles end there. So... And they end here on this side, so if we wanted to, we could actually add, like, maybe a residential area in here. I don't even think that's a bad idea. This would be nice for, like, a... How much farther does the map go in that direction? I can't really tell, can we? Well, I don't think it can be that far. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it doesn't actually extend that much further. So this would actually be a nice spot to put a low-density residential area. So that's something we'll definitely consider, but we also managed to hit the milestone yesterday of 32,000. That means we get our harbors and things like that. So I think that's probably where we're actually going to start, is just by dropping in a harbor here first. Let's get the game running. Maybe oh, a lot of instant upgrades as a result. We'll have to see if that's... I don't think it's going to cause a problem, depending on where exactly the lines go to. Oh yeah, the lines are right there, so they're going to come in. Yeah, they should, they should bypass these rocks. If nothing else, we can slightly redesign that. So obviously what the harbor also needs though is a road, otherwise this is all kind of pointless. And so they'll of course get a road. Uh, we actually want to come in like about here. Well, let's do our priority signs on the road on that road. Uh, no, that's priority and that's yield. There isn't a traffic light down there, so that shouldn't be a problem. And we'll just see how long it takes for the first tourists to come in. There's probably not going to be that many, because there's not that many interesting things for tourists yet. That's actually something we can consider changing. Cannot build on water, space already occupied, and this is only space already occupied then. So we could actually build that right across. That said, I think what's probably going to make more sense is actually going to be tying that into our transportation network with some form of train station. Whether you have a new phone, an old phone, or just leave it on Or a monorail or something like that. It's our way of saying we'll see we just you. how bad it gets. So don't be silenced when opportunity calls. Pick it up. It's for you. And we want to set our day-night cycle, at least for the time being, to somewhere around the middle of the day. So can we... Let's, let's check. I did finally get around to downloading the Umbrella Corporation Hydro Plants, which are actually quite small. So, I think what we can do... That's, that's kind of the thing, because the Umbrella Corporation unfortunately did make a demand, and that demand was that they need their, their own land just for them and for no one else. So obviously we're going to give it to them. 
And then again, they're offering us water. Ah, we don't want the curved road to here under any circumstances. Let's see if this will reasonably fit. Not from there, all it can do is 45 degrees. Where is it? Why is this not staying straight? That's what we want, exactly. We'll just go with everything exactly two lines out. That should actually work just fine. We'll do, we do everything to be perfect two lines out from the crossing. Hey, Icing Game, welcome back. One and two. So now we can redo these to make sure they have exactly the right length. I'm fine. I think I'm done. I may do a second episode after this, but I think I'm probably actually just going to do one and be done with it because it was a bit of a long day. That said, um, anything can happen. I mean, you know what, my, what happens on my streams. Oh, and now we need the curved road tool. Because now we don't want straight roads. Actually, we'll do freeform. Oh, perfect. Depending on how many movies you watch, you may already be able to figure out who our new water supplier is. This was this was their wish that we have to have this. Otherwise they said they just wouldn't move in. But I think, yeah. For water supply, that actually looks really nice. And it's actually too small. We actually need to go to three for each one. Because this does, we do want this to be our permanent water supply, basically. a certain landmark character, which is always nice. I don't think that one's long enough. That one looks too short. And that one felt too short. I may be wrong, but... Oh yeah, so that was just basically... Oh, it's the terrain probably is why we can't... Okay. So now we then once again need our... We 
road to a straight road to what? Seriously, am I gonna have to undo snapping every time I wanna mark it out and then <laughs> return it on every time I wanna actually connect? Okay, then we'll do it this way. And then Put Anarchy's 4. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. We want to snap. Now we want to unsnap. God, this is slightly annoying, but it's working. It's working, and it's really looking nice. It's giving us exactly the effect we want. out all of these on the inside. Yeah, screw you too. suppliers you may ask none other than the umbrella corporation turns into zombies, it might have something to do with the water supply. Uh, this is starting to work out nicely, yes. And of course, we'll want water tanks. Those obviously we're not going to grab out of any sort of mods. Um, we're going to anarchy those in. I'm not really too worried about that little corner there. That's really still totally okay. Yeah, I mean, that's just... The fence goes out a little bit far, that's it. And we can actually use the move it mod to just pull these in a little. Just a hair. a fan of the trees so we may actually flip these around and do them from the other side yeah that'll actually work just fine well obviously not at that angle that angle is slightly off but oh no it's not that angle at all it's off it's the it's that particular water facility that's actually twisted and way too far up front as well. Can I delete these single trees? No, I can't. So, hmm, we may have to get out of the first off and get out of the move it mod. Bulldozer is going to destroy the structure. I never would have thought of that. Wow, what a, what a concept. So um, now we'll see if we can't get a better result by flipping these around. Uh, it's straight. That's one of the important parts. 
Why did I turn that that way? That was kind of pointless. There's totally more turning than we had to do. Right, but that tree is causing us a bit of a problem. Well, then again, we can also put the tanks like here in these other, in these side ones as well. That would work as well. I mean, it's not anything that's going to kill us. Just want to get all these trees out of the road. And I did it again. Spinning it the wrong way. Or the not the wrong way, but just yeah. Why why spin it 270 degrees when you can spin it 90? That kind of wrong way. I.e., just do this. Colossal Ore. We are the leading producer of minerals, ore, and natural resources which means you're benefiting from our services whether you know us or not. No matter what our well, critics say, at Colossal, we care about our right. employees as well as our customers, which is why we work yeah, so that's hard obviously to not get work, our but what miners we could do. back in the mines where they feel at home. Together, we can reunite minerals with the people who... There's no way we're going to be able to put these more in the front. But we can actually just like. It might come as a surprise to some of you, but the title of deep fill these is areas. That's actually not a bad idea. I have learned it. Too many just two tanks each. Anyway, don't assume that you're simply outclassed when you see the success of your peers. Take it as an inspiring reminder of what you will soon achieve. Always in your corner. This is the deep right, same thing over here. This one and this one. Let's move them till well, actually, this one is. Actually, more reasonable, a little bit. Mm. Well, basically, yeah, it's just not going to be able to change it all too much. So, obviously, they're going to want their own private fire and police departments. Total police coverage. But that one's gonna give me total, right? Oh, almost that little bit down there is okay. And fire? Yeah, we've actually got exactly the same problem with fire, so. Why am I, why am I deleting those instead of just rebuilding them? That's kind of pointless. And anarchy can go off now. No, we don't need a water pipe. With heating pipes, we just need a normal water pipe. Actually, quite a few of them. <laughs> and of course, there's no water in the middle.
And one note, they still don't have power. So. power very soon, as soon as that we connect to a road. That said, since there isn't really much that's going to be going on out here, at least there shouldn't be much that's going on out here, we definitely don't need any sort of major road. We can actually use a two-lane gravel road and just have them coming here. No right turn. Go back up to three. So we get to get dedicated turning off lane again. And here for a dedicated merging lane. Once again, traffic manager just forced them into that. And the problem should solve itself. In fact, well, again, there should not really be very much traffic in here at all. To the point where we can actually consider... Well, that's right. Since they're also going to take care of our water expulsion, that was kind of part of the deal. They're also responsible for the eco-inland water treatment. Well, those will actually work nicely back on here. This is kind of like an entrance. Also with the fences, oh that's right, do I have the prison assets still installed? With those towers and things? I'm afraid not. The nice thing is these do, what, I think, yeah. 400,000 cubic meters a week, so we can absolutely tear out any water treatment we have over here. Um, oh, that's right. These do pump groundwater, though. So, wastewater right in the... N directly next to those is still actually a bad idea. Although... <laughs> we could build a canal around this. I don't like the way that looks. That That's just a bit janky. This needs to come out at a higher angle. So, or actually even just create one right here in the middle. Oh, actually, that looks, that looks reasonable. So that means that this goes back down to two, and this now goes up to three. the whole merging and stuff like that. That's 
still set up. Okay, excellent. Well, actually, you know what we could do? We could just build extension roads back in here. Using the straight tool, have them all be exactly one long. And that's where we can run our eco inland plants off of. Actually, excellent. And then we can just put two of those on each of those. That's 1440. A week. Oh no, that's wait, 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 wait. It costs 560 a week, so we can actually afford to put up multiples of these as well. And since we're now expelling clean water into the groundwater. Shouldn't really be any. We'll leave that one out. We won't leave that one out. Oh, that means more pipes. That actually counts as connected? Okay, that's nice. That's interesting. Pipe seems to be buggy. Okay. Not an issue. Uh, maybe it is an issue. Oh. Need to reactivate snapping. done. These all have fences around them. These don't yet. And I did finally install the more beautification mod, so we should have a lot more fun with, being, with the walls, fences, and other things that we can build. Now, we, For example, now we can build castle wall ruins just as part of the fences. Well, that said, we did have to use Anarchy, but still. Even with Anarchy, I didn't expect it to be quite that easy. I mean, 
it's the Umbrella Corporation, obviously they do want some amount of privacy. So now, first things first, we're going to want some offices off here. Well, first, we may as well create a district. Oh, this industry area is not district yet. Okay, that's good to know. Exactly. Make sure the Achieve It mod is working. Uh, no, I just wanted to rename that. That's all. That's really all I wanted to do. Yep. Achievement mod is working. Because I, ju I just happened to know that I didn't have that one yet. Oh, there goes the chat. Yeah, exactly. Don't mind the good old trees on the road. But I don't think... I think trees on the road is actually something we've mostly... Oh, because we anarchied so much of that in. We may actually have trees on these roads. It's actually something... I'm legitimately going to want to take a quick look at. I think except for that one that looked a little bit wonky out here. Yeah, just right there on the corner. That one can go. Other than that, yeah, I think they're doing fine. Okay, so now we want to put in a little office block. Uh, and they're actually going to have an IT specialization. No, then, yeah, they are, but we're going to, ah, that's right, IT goes, goes in straight at level three, and that's actually not what we want. So, if anything, we'll just download some different office buildings at some point. And the office is, of course, just all here along the waterfront. Oh, I did set an IT specialization by mistake. Whoops, sorry about that. I wanted to set no specialization because that's exactly the opposite of what we wanted. Although these are actually reasonable. You know what? We can just go in and, and bulldoze Edison's. That would actually work. Yeah, that's right. We'll just we'll just knock over any Edisons that wind up coming in. So the, this just bulldoze anything that comes in super high. Build something more reasonable. No. 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 <laughs> they're, they're not getting the, the, the hint, I don't think. No, they're totally... Ah, he did. <laughs> they didn't. 
they didn't. But you know what? Yeah, I think this is actually going to be too much. So, yeah, we're just going to go with normal. We will knock out that IT specialization after all. Uh, actually, I have the triples. Well, we had the triples. Well, that's one plane, two planes, and three planes! All the towers are down. <laughs> I once built a map that actually did wind up with the twin towers on a on a completely set off manufacturing island, just as a yeah, basically out of pure luck. I wound up with two Edisons with like a block in between them, and it was it actually looked really nice. We can buy more land already? Oh, I thought we couldn't buy more land yet. Oh, that's right. We we actually did get that milestone yesterday. That's right. So, oh, which way do we want to go? I think we'll take this extra bit of coast still. One, two. And we're already up to six, so there's actually not even that much further to go until we can... Um, what are the words I'm looking for? Uh, good question. What are the words I'm looking for? Uh, until we can start purchasing the entire map, basically. Exactly. Those are the words I'm looking for. Or just purchasing large swaths of land back here. Almost would have been nicer to have those here on the inside, but it just probably wouldn't work out that way. And I mean, they're moving into my city. They obviously have to make some sort of compromise, just like everybody else. The big question is, do we have blood red trees? I'd like to fill this with, like, red flowers or treat. That even says big, fat red on it, so. Mm. White, orange, yellow, mixed pink. What is... <laughs> that looks like the kind of plant the Umbrella Corporation would plant. Yeah. Saddle up in the mornings with Jimmy and the we'll Stallion. Definitely keep those. The only morning show featuring DJ yeah, I do Jimmy think Fries I have a forest a brush, don't I? Yes, I Tor. do. So this let's see Jimmy what happens. Fries coming to you from Studio Two. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Looks like someone. Do I not have the forest brush <laughs> activated? Is that what's going on? Okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy, boy. They'll play your favorite hits, give out great prizes, and laugh their way through you. Ah, there it is. Jimmy and the Stallion. Stable entertainment only on City's radio. You know what we'll do? In that case, I think I see what the problem is. No, I don't see what the problem is. The radio waves are my canvas. The music is my pigment. This, uh, this is not going to work out the way I wanted it to. Well, we didn't want to knock out all the trees in there. something back in. Uh, hmm. Well, we could use like park planters or something like that. Park props, that would actually work. Well, obviously not with a brush. Just line these in red. Eh, just lining them in red is kind of boring though. Do we have a surface brush that's red? That would be a nice idea. Well, not necessarily red, but we can at least turn like one these blanks into white or just gravel. Mm, I think that actually works better with the other ones though. We do that on these. Oh, 
we'll go in later and clean it up, of course. Because I do see we're getting some overspray. So corporate's probably going to be mad at somebody because they couldn't get their red, um, their red and white. And just clean up the roads, basically. sides that much. Just want to make sure they're not even not just spilling crazily onto the other sides. Just fine. And that actually looks reasonable. It's pretty nice. Now, if we can only find a red ground texture to put on the rest. Or... Oh, that's an idea. What we do also have is red lights. So while these light up like orange-ish at night, at least that's the idea, we can light these up in really, really strong red. as far as we want to go. Oh, but that will. Can we get that in a nice red? It says wall mounted, but it's totally not. Yeah, here near the central crossing, it's obviously good. Well, wait a sec. Can we use industry roads and then just by that, by doing that, knock out the lights completely. I'm not sure, do these industry roads have lights on them at night? I don't actually think they do. Oh yeah, they do. But we're still going to use those. Ah, knocked out the fence on that one. And on that one. And on that one, it knocked out three of the fences, so I need bastards. There, got the 
fences back up. You know, we'll just leave it like that until we find like a red crown texture or something like that. Because there are also other things that need to be done in this city. That said, we will set historical down in here just to make sure none of this gets gets totally oversized. And what's our water? Um, electricity and water look like. So we have capacity for 2 million a week pumping and 2.4 million a week draining. Which is good because this one doesn't appear to be actually pumping anything for some reason. We'll just leave it there. Well, actually, no, we won't leave it there. We can totally get rid of all of these eyesores. Hmm. Yeah, give the pumping station a bit of work. So, what do we need next? We need some industry, some more, some more industry, I should say. And we do have space to build that up. What's a story on ground resources? Is there anything out here that might be interesting? The land doesn't appear particularly fertile out here. So we don't have to think about putting in like a farm or anything. No, I think we'll probably actually be best served with more fish. And then just some general purpose industry behind it. Algae farms and seaweed farms we now have. Because we haven't actually caught any fish yet. We're still going to put both of those up. Oh, those are also algae farms, aren't they? No, those were fish farms, that's right. back in behind it. Especially here where they're not even trying to build offices. Oh yeah, that's already taking most of that industry demand with it. That's nice. That does look cool though. Not quite as nice as we'd, as we'd like to have it, because simply because we don't have the red to drop in there right now yet, but eventually. So, what's the story on power? Just fine. Water, absolute non-issue for the time being, and we even have, yeah, we actually have, oh my god, 4.8 million cubic meters of storage space, and that's like three quarters filled already just because we're overproducing so much um that's fishing industry we wanted to check on garbage so despite having an incinerator out here uh, the incinerator causes ground pollution that's the problem 
We don't really want that anywhere near to those. But we can really more or less without any problems drop it back here. We all want to be prepared. We all want to be sure that the people we leave behind don't Because think I don't we're think we have oh we That's could have actually we could actually use we provide waste processing complexes. For a small monthly sum, you can spend and transfer facilities. The question is has everything taken care of. Final would that really last make sense? Not with the way we have traffic Dinosaurs. set up right now. We have to wait for a not for a little bit until we do that. Anything else reasonable that we could still drop in there? Our Raptor Burger Rex, or the pile of crumbled sticky brownies adventurously named the Dino Droppings. So, take a trip into the wild at Dinosaurus. You can dine in or What's dine it, Exactly, first. let's see what the pollution is on those eco plants. That would just kind of interest me. How high that gets. What's up, y'all? It's your host, Deep Thought, coming back at you. Uh, around those, it's. Wherever you are and whatever still you're reasonable doing, over here in the industry area, of course. It's. Far from reasonable, and here in the industry area also. But the important thing is that water pumping is far enough away from even from these little fields. So, what does our traffic look like? Oh, there we have a coming in with 75 passengers. Let's see how bad this gets. Are they ja are they jammed up or parked? Oh, that's they're they're waiting for that guy for that guy from the pumping service because we're getting flooding here. Interestingly enough, not even was that, was that just because of the of. No, it appears to be a somewhat regular occurrence, so we'll use the move it mod and just move this up a little bit. That should solve that, I'm hoping. Wait a sec, do we have money for Metro already? We do when we have access to Metro stations, and I could fit one in there, so... There's some reasonable hope to be made. Hmm. You know what I'm considering? I'm considering whether we may not want to use this Umbrella Corporation area as kind of our, um, as a, a kind of as a cargo hub, although I think what would actually make more sense would be to you to put the cargo hub over here and just come off of this, off of this area. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. Do we have the, oh, we don't have the cargo hub yet, we only have the cargo harbor. Uh, what do we need? 42,000 to get that. So, for now... Shoreline required? Well then, we move to the shoreline. And we'll just replace that with a cargo hub later. That's still gonna knock that out, so... <laughs> yeah, even if we do our best to avoid the trees, they're gone, so we may as well just deal with that. Oh, is that going to be a problem? Now that I think about it? With 
flooding here if we dam that up. That is a legitimate concern, I think. Uh, no. But we need to... Uh, that's exactly what we need that red to do. So water can still flow out there. up. Uh, oh, we still have... Yeah, we still have prop and tree anarchy on, so we'll just use the move it mod quick on this, and that'll solve that. Feeling long term, we're gonna have quite a bit of traffic coming through here, especially straight through here off to the right. As soon as the industry kind of figures out, hey, wait a sec, we have a cargo har harbor over there. And this is still just overall not getting us quite where we want to go. We just have too much coming in out over there. Hmm. I have an idea. Wait a second. What if we were to make all of these roads go that way? Would that help us at all? With maybe the exception of this one. That would take stress off of all of these crossings. People could just go straight through, and they all can only ever turn right off of this. Believe it or not, I actually like that idea. It's probably going to be a huge mistake, but still, we're going to try it. all the traffic's coming in from here anyway, then it may, we may just make it easy for it to filter out to the direction it actually wants to go. And then just basically loop back and get out of town, or come out of town right here. Obviously, that's going to put a much heavier strain on this side then, but I think that is potentially going to be less of a problem, because a lot of them are going to want to get off here anyway. Hmm. I may have spoken too soon. it gets out here. You know what we might have to do? We might actually have to just ban traffic on the outside lane so it doesn't wind up stopping every time somebody makes a delivery. Hmm. Let's see if that helps. I mean, we've done that before. Look at this, all these garbage trucks just jumbled up. I actually just banned cars and trucks in the outside lanes. And again, the whole, the whole purpose is just to make sure that they're not gumming things up when they make deliveries. And 
thinking this might be a possible solution. Oh, that's why, because this is, once again, another section of road. Only ever does it to, until the next intersection. so many intersections, but I think it might actually provide us with significant flow improvement overall. So we basically turn the outside lanes into bus fire police lanes. That's basically what's happening here. Did we never set our junction restrictions properly here? I think that may be part of the problem. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, no, not lane switching. Well, obviously you can also switch lanes, but... No, the problem is you guys are supposed to keep moving through the blocked intersection. Starting to clear up. And of course now we're getting all of our joining issues up here. Which makes complete sense. That's traffic that wants to come out. So they're basically on their way back to wherever they came from. So that's actually less of an issue. But we're still getting heavy, heavy traffic coming in. In fact, you know what we'll do? Since we have one lane going off here. We'll actually go with three lane one way there and there. our traffic manager to make it much, much, much easier for them to get in now. They can at least flow till the first node. This needs to be reworked. But that's not something that we're going to do this episode. Because we have hit our one hour limit for today. Or for this episode, I should say. So, yeah. I hope you've liked what you've seen. I hope some of this actually winds up working. If you have liked what you've seen, please be, feel free to follow me here on Twitch or like and subscribe on YouTube. 
And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Cheers. In fact, I'll set this up quick before I go. Because these are all set to empty right now. So, and now we'll quit for today. Cheers. See you tomorrow.